Hello everyone, I am Rhea, as you all well know, and I am back with another Ligaya tutorial video. I haven't quite decided as the time of recording this what I want to call it. Um, call it um, Nivora and I'd probably call it like Nivora Skip and Early Soaring Camp. Probably something like that um, with a with a few glitches a lot of sequence breaks are gonna happen and we're gonna move from this this file here which is located uh, just outside of not uh, not Mount uh, Navarre Ravine you can see the ice barrier is still up I don't have time space bonds I can just uh, demonstrate there are there are no time space bonds in the inventory so I've not done um, the uh, sequence that gets us the time space bombs. So, we are going to make use of actor focus displacement, and if you're not sure what that is, I would go look at the early set of this tutorial. Um, in short, it's going to allow us to, uh, when we load a file that is in one of the three dream rooms in Urumayas, if we load out of that room into a different save file, the camera goes completely nuts uh, it goes off in some random direction and we can take advantage of that in order to deload certain assets such as that ice berry that you just saw we're going to combine that with another skip uh, the coordinate swap wrong warp in order to skip uh, past all of Navora, well, almost all of Navora, skip the Devilitis, skip Koru, skip a bunch of stuff, and get to the area So we're going to get, open the world map, we're going to be able to get past this ice barrier here on the world map, and we're going to end up somewhere uh, right about here, right about where the center of that is, is where we're going to end up, and then that's going to give us access to Mount Heaney, and then we are going to do Mount Heaney, and um, that's going to get us access to early sorting feature. So I want to show off the coordinate swap wrong warp first in the light. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to a, another save file that I have prepared. It's located in Nivora. Uh, and this is going to be um, after that uh, after getting the ice wear down normally right at the exit and entrance of the tunnels. I'm just going to go ahead and use an incense just to make sure we were, were topped out on those. Uh, it won't make use of any um, incense skips. So I want to show off the uh, skip in the light. And once I've shown it off in the light, then we will go uh, do it again in the dark. Because we are going to have to do this coordinate swap um, under actor focus displacement so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show it off in the light and then we'll switch to the dark so uh, i don't need help for the tunnels so we're it's going to start off more or less like normal uh, when we're under actor focus displacement this thing this um, barrier will not um, operate so you'll you'll um you'll run five seconds to the left with Vaughn, switch to noah then it's up left for two seconds then left for three seconds and she'll automatically go into the sigil gonna switch twice uh, to switch to um switch back to Vaughn. gonna run up so it's gonna be a total of eight seconds eight to eight and a half seconds to get here and then you're gonna hold switch from up up left, I'm going to take you to this room, and I'm going to switch here. So all of this is going to happen really fast, and I'm not going to have time to explain. I'm going to switch to Noah. While she's on the sigil, have her use a door of light, quickly square twice to switch back to Vaughn, and then I'm going to run straight down. And if I do all of that correctly, I will be able to gain control of, so I'll be able to gain control while the door of light is activating and it's going to cause some weird shenanigans and Vaughn is going to be warped out uh, of Navora, but over near Mount Heen. So it's going to happen really quickly. I have to do that quickly. I have to quickly switch to square, open the menu door of light. Uh, 
And I just hold down, holding down. And if everything goes well, which it did, there we go. We just popped out right uh, right outside Mount Heaney. And you can see I'm pretty much exactly where I said I'd be. So I have to quickly open the menu as no. If, I, if it loads in fully, it's not going to work. So that's why I had to be like, explain this all really quickly. It's like, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. So just to reiterate, you're going to get to that spot with Vaughn. Um, you're going to quickly switch to Noah while she's on the sigil. Before the game has a chance to fully load, use the door light, switch back to Vaughn, and then run straight down and just hold the down button until you're until you've popped uh, up outside Mount Heaney. Of course, as I said, um, it's not quite that that easy because we are going to do it in the dark. Thankfully, there are some things that are going to help us out. Um, and I'm going to try to route this as best as I can. So first, I'm going to go to a file uh, that I have pre-created. It is right outside of Nivora, and I will first demonstrate that the blocking is still there. Just to show that there are no shenanigans that I'm actually doing. I'm actually going to do what I say I'm going to do. So the ice barrier is there. It's it's a big block of ice, far too big and heavy to move. All right, so I'm going to go to my Urumaya file. And I'm going to, so this is a file I have that's uh, right outside of Remias. Uh, it is pre-created to be ready for the tunnel skips. And we are going to do all of that stuff. So tunnels are open in this file. We're going to go into Vaughn's dream room. We actually have to go into the room where the dreams take place. I mean, we're not going to activate the dream, but yeah. You know. I'll just go ahead and restock my incense, just safety. I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, the file that we had from before, which is going to take us. No, to show off, um, no funny business going on. Well, okay, there's a lot of funny business going on, but uh, I am I'm actually there where I, where I was before. The camera has gone off in the middle of I don't know where. But anyway, time to begin. So we are just gonna hold up for about 13, 14 seconds. Once we're here, we're just gonna kind of hold up, go into the next room. So there was a little wisp of mist that happened. And then after, you know, a while has passed, um, you'll be able to trigger this cutscene. You'll be, be able to kind of get a little idea of what you're doing. Um, but you're going to hold, it's going to be once the cutscene ends, it's going to be down left. You're going to hear a couple of jumps down. Then you're going to go, or uh, down right, sorry. Get a jump down. It's going to be, you're going to hold left for a little bit, then down, jump down, and then it's going to be up and right. So. Then the camera will shoot off. I'm going to hold down left. And. And then, uh, or sorry, down right, and you'll hear those three jumps I, you should have heard. And then you're going to hold left, down, and then upright. You're going to kind of go upright. You can just hold upright and switch it to up. Either way works. And that is going to take you to the tunnel room. And this part hasn't changed. It's a cutscene, so the camera goes where it's supposed to go. I am ready. Nope, I still don't need any help. I hold left for five seconds. Four, five. 
one, two, and then switch uh, to left. You can hear that she's landing on the sigil. Switch to Vaughn, or switch to Gala, switch to Vaughn. Hold up for about eight seconds. And you'll know you're in the next room, so I'm gonna switch from uh, up to upright. I'll actually be able to see some stuff kind of see some stuff on the um, on the far left side that's how you know you're in the right room so now we're gonna do the quickly we're gonna switch to Noah and then we're gonna let the shenanigans happen so just make sure you're all the way up and we're gonna do our light So as soon as you see Fire Ravine, you want to go ahead and... And I screwed up. Uh, so what can happen there... Oh no, I actually got it. Never mind. I did not. I screwed up. I thought I had screwed up, but uh, I did not screw up. I just you, just... you do want to check to make sure you've, uh, you've gotten it. So just check the world map. So never mind. False alarm. Uh, it can happen that it screws up if you um, go too early. But uh, Trans did some testing, and it, like if you wait until right as soon as the fire path or fire ravine, fire path, different dungeon appears, uh, then it should work consistently. But here we are, and actually, although it seems like it would be pretty difficult to navigate Mount Heaney, it's actually quite easy uh, to mount to navigate Mount Heaney in the dark. Uh, so we're gonna need to get there first, and don't be afraid to use the uh, world map. Kind of make a U shape uh, around um, those trees to get into the mountain. So, so you'll be able to see the screen flicker to uh, well, I can see the screen flicker to black, but it might be difficult. So you're gonna hold up for about a few seconds. So it flickered to like a dark black from kind of this black, and that's how I know I'm in the next room. But I'm not. But looking on it on your your all end. Uh, I wasn't able to see any difference, so your mileage may vary depending on the TV you use, but it's a, I could actually see when the screen is changing on, on my end. So you're going to hold up for um, about 10 seconds total, and then you're going to hold up um, upright for a while. So it's, I switch screens, I can hold uh, right for a while until I switch screens again, switch back to left, switch screens again. Uh, I'm going to hold down and left. Now, after I held that for seven or eight seconds, I'm going to switch to right. Switch screens. Here, a jump. There we go, jump. Now, the rest of it, you can actually, you'll actually be able to see um, some amount of what's going on for the, the last few rooms. So it's all in all, not actually that difficult, in my estimation, at least. Uh, definitely, if you're not familiar with the general uh, layout of Mount Heaney, I would practice just to get a feel for what you're doing. Um, but it's genuinely, in my opinion, not super difficult. And there's the good luck bell chest, the room right before. Unfortunately, you can't save here. Uh, so it's just a, um, you're going to go up for a couple seconds, left for a couple seconds, and down for a couple of seconds uh, in that last room. So you're actually taking a little bit of a detour uh, in that route that I use. It would technically, once you switch screens, you hold, um, I mean, there, there's probably slightly, that, so the, uh, so there's the, the room with Birdman Gate, and then there's an outdoor room where you're just holding upright. There is, so we actually take a detour into a dead end room in order to properly uh, get ourselves in the right position. And you could technically find a slightly faster path through that room. But I think that's not going to be too much of a loss of time unless you're going for like super optimized world records. Um, and in my opinion, it's uh, a lot easier, especially if you are just learning this setup. 
but this is all going to be bog standard stuff. Um, unfortunately, you can't save, and I don't think you can enter the Elder's House in AFD state. So we do, unfortunately, have to go back to Urmias. And on this particular file, I actually have one door of wind, so I can't actually show off that. Yes, this this all works as intended. Um, but um, you'll see that we'll get to Soren Camp. Uh, it'll be in the door of. Uh... Yeah, Urmaris is still fine. We haven't actually Juggernaut hasn't been there, um, so yeah. We're actually saving Hermias, although um, there's sadly no way to skip Hermias fully because um, we can't get access to um, Hermias 2 and getting to no area until after we've done Hermias 1, which is sad times. So, camera will go run off way over there and um, see I only have one door wind um, but I have access to Soren camp in my in my uh, door of wind menu so that's uh, all that I need and obviously um, going back to Urmias in in a file that's on AFD will undo AFD and get you back to uh, the proper cam configuration. So at this point, if I had any door winds uh, left, as you can see I don't, you could go ahead and warp back to Thorn Camp and continue on to the Floating Castle. And then from there onward to Conquerum, Conquerum of the Past, and um, so on and so forth. So. It was a little bit shorter of a video than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be probably like half an hour, and here I am 17 and a half minutes in. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, hopefully uh, that all made some degree of sense for whatever value of sense um, that this game's glitches are. I'm not sure that they really make any sense, but I'm, I'm now rambling, so I'm going to say thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, all in all, this uh, skip is looking like it will save around 18 minutes. Is kind of what I'm roughly estimating this skip at. Um, the um, I had said before that it was like 12 minutes for early uh, Sebicus. It's probably closer to 9 or 10 not 12 sadly so that's about 28 minutes between these two skips and then there's some other things going on um there's um <coughs> the other nice thing about this skip is it actually means we only have to get terra twice we, we actually skip one time when we have to get terra uh since you don't do or since we're not doing urmias uh Two, or sorry, we're not doing Urumayas 1, which removes Terra from the party, until after um, after Court 1. That's going to allow us to, do, to uh, skip getting Terra, which saves three or four more minutes. Uh, and then there's some um, post Rikiroa stuff that'll save about two to four minutes. And then there's Dark Soul, which I will be doing a tutorial on shortly which will also save three or so minutes. So with all of that, um, it's looking like it's going to be around anywhere from 36 to 40 minutes of potential time save is what we're looking at right now with these new skips. So my world record, uh, former world record, uh, pre-AFD skips is a 413. Trance currently has a 345, uh, which definitely had some rough patches to it. And I'm expecting the world record will end up, so, you know, 413 minus half an hour is 33, so 
anywhere from 334 to 338. Sounds like about where I'm expecting this record to end up um, with the current tech that we have. But it's really just a matter of wait and see, and who knows, there might be some new skip. I mean, kind of the, the big holy grails um, that are still left, because now that block, blocking skip, ice barrier skip has been found, that was one of the big holy, holy grails um, has been found. Um, early Usha, that would allow us to skip all of Soul. Well, we'd still want to get incense in the speed chain, but it would allow us to skip almost all of soul. Um, Gate of Hell skip. And early Retalue. Those are the kind of the big three things that uh, are really uh, necessary still if we wanted to see like three. Uh, like pretty, pretty much any one of those three would get us very close to sub three. Which, you know game that used to be 12 hours when I started. That's a, that's a monumental accomplishment, but I'm rambling. There's, there's nothing more uh, tutorial-wise to say. So I'm going to go and stop here. Thank you all once again. Rhea loves you. Take care, everyone, and uh, catch you on another video. See you sooner rather than later.